This is the question. Can you put the cart before the horse? Because this is, this is literally what they have done. They put in the cart before the horse. Why is this? Because we're going to look at some precepts and get a clear understanding exactly what is going on here. We're going to find out exactly why they have put the cart before the horse. So let's look at the precepts. Let's go to Acts back 12 and 4. <clears throat> and it says, And when they apprehended him, they, they put him in prison and delivered him unto four quadrants of soldiers to keep him intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Now, they were going to tell you this actually mean Passover. You have many Bibles going to tell you this is Passover. You have many Bibles that are going to tell you many different things. And then you even have concordance, which they use, and they say Easter actually means Passover. This is what they're going to do. This is what they're going to tell you. This is what they're going to say what it, what it actually means. But we're going to find out what this means because we need to pull the precepts from the Bible to make sure exactly what we're saying. So let's go to Leviticus 23 and 4. And we're going to pull the precepts for this. It says, these are the feasts of Yahweh. Even holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. So now we know these are the feasts of the Most High. These are directly from Him. And we need to write this down because we're going to go to verse 5. It says, On the 14th day of the first month at even is Yahweh's Passover. So we need to write that part down. On the 14th day of the first month, of the year at even meaning in the evening is Passover now verse 6 and on the 15th day of the same month is the feast of unleavened bread unto Yahweh seven days ye must eat unleavened bread this is clear. So on the 15th day, the same month, right after the 14th, meaning is after that, Passover is unleavened bread. And we must eat unleavened bread for seven days. So on the first month of the first year, on the 14th day, is Passover. On the 15th day of the same month is unleavened bread. So we want to write this down, make sure we all have this clear understanding here because we're going to go back and we want to make sure it's clearly understood on the first month on the 14th day is Passover and on the 15th day of the same month is unleavened bread so we have first we have Passover second we have unleavened bread so let's go back to, to, to Acts 12 and 4 and it says again, and when he when he apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him unto four quadrants of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Now again, ninety nine percent of all Bibles and churches will state this is Passover. Even you can go to many Bible website tool sites, and they're going to tell you the same thing. This is Passover. However. When is Passover in the order? See, on the first month of the first year, is the first on the fourteenth day is Passover. On the fifteenth day, seven days of unleavened bread. So, from the fifteenth to the twenty-second is unleavened bread. So, Passover is first, and unleavened bread is second. We all have this clear; it's understood. So, let's go up one verse. Let's go up to three. Same place, Acts 12 and 3. It says, because he saw it please the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. 
Then were the days of unleavened bread. So then the days of unleavened bread, you, you, do you see the issue here? So this is after Passover, right or not right? Leviticus 23 and 5 tells you this is the law of Passover. Passover first, unleavened bread second. Now we see right here, then was the day of unleavened bread, and we have a problem. What is the problem? They changing things around because now when we go to verse four, and when they apprehended him, they put him in prison and delivered him unto four quadrants of soldiers to keep him tending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. But what was going on? Then was the day of unleavened bread after Passover. So how are they doing this? What they did is the same thing. They put the cart before the horse. This is all they're doing. This makes no sense. Easter is what it says. See, many times in the Bible, it'll show you heathen holidays. Many times in the Bible, it shows you those. But they want to force and fit what's he going to do tomorrow, this heathen holiday, and they want to call it their Christ has risen. And ran alongside and what they were doing with the heathens, the heathens ran their holidays alongside with <clears throat> the most high holy days. This is the problem. This is the issue. It's no way possible for you to sit there and say Easter is, is Passover because it's not saying Passover. He have no problem writing Passover when it's Passover. So if they had no problem writing Passover all through the Bible, Old Testament and New Testament, they had no problem writing that. Why would they wait till they get here in Acts? And it's even stated in there. Why would they wait till they get to this verse and then state Easter? This is what you really need to think about. Why would they wait to this one verse and put Easter? Everywhere else, it says Passover. So next time somebody tell you it is Passover, show them the law and then show them Acts 3 and verse 4 with the law next to it and have them explain that to you. Don't let them go out. There. See, and most people are going to try to say, well, you know, let me show you in the concordance. No, 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 no. We don't need that. All the answers are in the book. All we need is the book. Explain it to me out of here. This is why we have so many problems because they have written so many books with so many different things and just call, constantly just cause confusion and confusion time and time again. This is why you had a problem with Easter. So.